Hey guys, and welcome back to how you can make um, elements from household ingredients. So today's element will be phosphorus. We're going to be uh, subtracting red phosphorus from these old matchboxes. Um, so save your old matchboxes. <clears throat> Just the outer casing because we don't need the um, inside part. Um, many people use um, acetone to remove the red phosphorus off the striking pads, but I'm going to be using isopropyl rubbing um, alcohol, 99%. Uh, lower concentrations would probably work, but um, I haven't experimented with that, so I just use 99%. Um, so what you're going to want to do is chop these up into um, just the strips, um, such as this one right here, and um, pour yourself out a bit of uh, rubbing alcohol, and just drop in the strips, and uh, let them soak for 5 to 10 minutes, um, and then we'll scrape them off. So uh, we'll be back in a moment. Okay, so after it's been soaking for a while, um, we're just going to take a razor blade and your strip of phosphorus, and you're going to start scraping it off into a separate dish. Um, try to get as much phosphorus off as you can, but you're just going to scrape it and then rub it onto the edge of your dish, and the uh, rubbing alcohol will evaporate, leaving you with a chunk of red phosphorus, which you could grind up into a powder or do what you want with. Um, in a later video, we'll probably be turning that into white phosphorus and attempting to make a blob of white phosphorus. Um, so you can look for that in the future. Um, but anyhow, I'll be back when I've scraped off all of this red phosphorus. Okay, <clears throat> so now that we're done that, I'm left with this kind of icky powder that's contaminated with a lot of cardboard. But there's plenty of red phosphorus in there. And what I would like to do is make white phosphorus with this. <clears throat> so those um, impurities shouldn't really matter. Um, but if you're going to make things like Armstrong's mixture, perhaps they will matter. I think it would still work, just perhaps not as well. Um, if you're looking to make Armstrong's mixture, then instead of using the strips with the um, little teeny dots of phosphorus on them, you're going to want to actually use the match strips, which are just 100% phosphorus. So it's just an entire strip of red with no little dots on it. And um, if you do the exact same process with that, oop, you should be able to get some um, phosphorus powder, if you can see that there. Um, so that's a uh, red phosphorus in there. And it's uh, very uh, pure, so that is exactly what you want for Armstrong's mix. I'll do a, a separate video on that sometime on how to make Armstrong's mix. Anyhow, so I hope you enjoyed.